his vision. Northwestern did a really good job on Luca Garza the other night. Another big man challenge here as Nance gets the first two of the game. Really sloppy here to start, and Northwestern certainly hasn't taken full advantage, but man, now what you'd like to see if you're Jawan Howard. Nance throwing down the jam off the nice feed from Robbie Barrett. This year, Chris Collins feels like it suits his personnel, and moving Nance into that five spot has been a left hand by Pete Nance. But Dickens in good position on Nance, and he gets the first two for Michigan. Hunter Dickinson coming off that 26-point outing against Maryland. You talk about Robbie. He was just phenomenal. Nance now. Quick pull-up. Eight points. Leon, all of a sudden, that basket starts looking a little bigger and just faces up Franz Wagner. Gets a great look. There's Wagner. That three goes. Possession. Wagner's found his stroke the last couple games as Miller Kopp turns it over. Now here comes Smith in transition. Driving on Audige. All the way to the hoop and lays it in. All-star. He said there's a lot of pressure on him, but he said something really resonated with me as Wagner, who knows a little bit about expectations. Playing to his skill set, you know, putting him in positions to really be successful, and that's allowed him to flourish. The other big in the game, Ryan Young, gets the rebound off the Audige miss. And the double comes. In the corner, Smith nails the three. And Wagner the rebound. Ty Berry's kind of struggled since he had the 12 points against Michigan State in their home win. And just one of his last seven from three and struggling a little bit from the field right now. Western hasn't been able to generate much with Nance out of the lineup. Young working on the freshman and gets the layup. He may work and get into that left side. There's Brown hitting the three. So Shawnee Brown comes in. Ball gets tipped up. They have a hard time doing it. So, so kudos to Mike Smith on doing exactly what he said he was going to do. Follows on Robbie Barron, his first. Brandon Johns into the game and hits the short pull up. Nice job. Brandon Johns just slipping right out of that ball screen, getting to 15 feet. There's Barron, and that'll be a goaltend. And it's back in the game for Northwestern. Got off to of that great early start. Here's Livers out of the corner. Splashes the three. Wolverine's already five different players who have made a three as Cop gets open. And Northwestern's leading scorer gets his first two points of the game. There's Bowie, strong take, but can't finish it off. And Terrence Williams, the rebound for Michigan. Now Brown. That three goes. Incredibly confident coming off a game at Maryland where he did not score. And honestly, two of the last three games hasn't scored, but tonight it's been a different story. Yeah, six of nine behind the arc. Is At most possessions, Michigan's going to be all right. Brown getting into the lane, nearly lost it, but able to collect a land in. Doing this, but he's going to see smaller defenders going at him. A cop, a rare air ball, and an open three. Adige hits one out of the corner. There's Brooks. Three-pointer rattles out, but it comes to Wagner who lays it in. And Franz Wagner gets the easiest bucket he may have all year. Adij will take the three and hit it. Inside Dickinson. Good patience. And shot blockers go flying by, and he uses his size. And now a turnover. Brown in the open court. Throws down the jam. Howard against that 3-2 zone, the, the perfect play against it. You get a really nice pass, and unfortunately for Michigan, Sean D. Brown unable to finish it off. There's Cop. Rattles it home. Patience by Michigan. Brooks drains the three by Wagner. Mike Smith did a nice job of pushing Anthony Gaines off that block. Wagner for three. Oh. Brooks again. Hits again. Smith. Knocked away there by Adige. Now ahead of the pack for Barron. Who throws down the jam? Barron. First steal of the game for the Wildcats, who were dead last in the nation in steals last year. They're up to 
sixth in the Big Ten this year. Dickinson throwing down the jam on the other end. Just four points, but they're physically manhandling Pete Nance, getting great position and throwing down the dunk. Barron will try the three and hit it. To win that matchup, if Hunter Dickinson's going to guard him, he's got to drive him and shoot open shots. He's going to have opportunities. A little 2 3 zone look here, Dave, just showing different looks at Northwestern. Robbie Barron, great slip right to the middle of that zone. Shots where Miller Cop feels like he hasn't touched it in a while. Got to get one up. And certainly Northwestern playing faster, but you got to still take good quality shots. To finish your, your point, Dave, I, I think that's fair to say you weren't expecting, or, or people weren't expecting Hunter Dickinson to be this good, but. And, and good college players all the time. So to me, that certainly kind of lessens the burden when you jump to the college level. Dickinson inside and the foul. Dickinson in his development. Bowie just caught too far down and under. Michigan on the run. Oh my. Eli Brooks throws down the alley -oop. Like Hunter Dickinson got a flat tire on that take. Adige, little Euro step and. Stems the tide momentarily. They've really been good tonight defensively. Rivers rattles it home. Left it short, wide open there for Miller Cop, and you can see he's his just, frustration. He's totally out of sync, Dave. Rivers drains the three. It is a 23 point Michigan lead. Goal percentage defense, and you're seeing lots of evidence of why here tonight. Livers over Barrett. Wow. What a tough shot. Isaiah Livers. He was Barron lays it in. Uh, it will be that. As John, strong offensive rebound. Now Livers out of the corner doesn't go. Another offensive board. And Brown lays it in. It's fouled. Didn't get the call. Yeah, then I mentioned that last stretch, eight of nine against rank. I think the one against a, an unranked team is in. Usually that takes a shooter out of rhythm, not not on this night. <laughs> Michigan is on fire. They are 11 of 24 from three as Perrin hits. This has just been a, it's been a tough night for Pete Nance because he's got Isaiah Livers, Franz Wagner, and Sean D. Brown checking him, and you really lose that mismatch. Over here in the second half, where they really struggled with him in the first. Here's Brooks. Okay. As a ranked team, that can't have ever happened. Like, when you're ranked in the top 20, there's no... 9 and 11 in the Big Ten. So, it, it's, it's... I don't want to say it's talking out of both sides of your mouth, but it, it's not necessarily saying they're definitively going to lose... Okay. Here's Dickinson down low. Not lost it on the way up. Dickinson inside, throws down another one. Miller Kopp and taking him out of the ball game. Well, their length has really stood out. Michigan has been elite on the defensive end tonight. Here's Kopp with the pull up, and he hits it. Where normally, you look traditionally, and there's one or two teams where you're like, okay, if we show up to play, we're going to get it done. Long history's worked with me for 13 years, so yeah, that's true. he's got a lot to doubt. You've seen you at your best and your worst. <laughs> yeah. The first hoop for Jace Howard here at Michigan. I think kind of a, along the lines of Connor McCaffrey at Iowa. I mean, this, is, this is going to be a player in the rotation eventually for the Wolverines. Is Ryan Greer? He's got it for Northwestern. So final 20 seconds here. It's put into this building, and they're, they're playing really good basketball. You got Marcus Carr. You've got Liam Robbins. Well, that's going to be a heck of a game. A final score, frankly, not quite indicative of how lopsided this one was. 85 to 66. Incredibly impressive win for Jawan Howard and Michigan. They are 9 and 0. Oh.